A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Wednesday, October 19th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. On a party-line vote, the Ulster County Legislature last night voted not to extend the cents per gallon rate of sales tax on motor and diesel fuel in lieu of the percentage rate of taxes. Minority Republicans voted for the extension, while majority Democrats rejected it. Republican Kevin Roberts of Platykill told fellow lawmakers that once the strategic reserves are depleted and the midterm elections have passed, gas prices will skyrocket. The head of the statewide United University Professions Union told a SUNY New Pulse rally on Tuesday that Albany must provide more of a financial commitment to the state university system. Dr. Frederick Cowell said most of the SUNY campuses are in serious deficit situations that need a greater investment by the state. What we're calling for is a commitment by the state uh, to make the long-term investments that are necessary so that the, this public system can be truly public, funded by the state, and, uh, and that'll help uh, re-energize and reinvigorate reinvigorate uh, local economies across the state. Cowell said Governor Hochul and the legislature got SUNY in the right direction, but more must be done to sustain the campuses as economic engines of the local economies. The Democratic candidate for state Senate in the new 39th district is challenging claims by her Republican opponent, GOP candidate Rob Rollison, currently Poughkeepsie's mayor, maintains the poor financial state of the city when he became mayor, was the fault of his predecessor, but Democrat Julie Shiroshi says that was not the case. The fact is that when Rob Rollison was chairman of the Dutch County Legislature, he pushed through a tax deal with the cities of Beacon and Poughkeepsie that hurt both cities, that really hurt their finances. The unfair tax deal, her words, expired this year, but Shiroshi says it cost the two cities millions in lost revenue over the last decade. More news right after this. It's time to get spooky with DJ Echo, Gold's Gym, and Selfie Galore at the Galleria at Crystal Run Friday, October 28th for their Halloween Spooktacular. Haunted house, photo booths, even a kid's DJ dance party, and candy while supplies last. But it's only Friday, October 28th from 5 to 7.30 p.m. at the Galleria at Crystal Run in Middletown with DJ Echo, Gold's Gym, and Selfie Galore. Orange County's premier shopping, dining, entertainment, and Halloween Spooktacular destination. Learn more at GalleriaCrystalRun.com. A $300,000 state grant will fund extension of water and sewer lines along the King's Highway corridor to the Mount Marion Firehouse in Saugerties, nearby homes and local businesses. The grant secured by Senator Michelle Hinchy will fund a water infrastructure capital project that will extend clean drinking water and a sanitary sewer system from Industrial Drive South to the Firehouse connecting 14 homes, four businesses, and the fire department to a municipal water supply for the first time. A father and son from Central Valley were both sentenced in federal court to prison for defrauding their lenders and the IRS. 73-year-old Mehdi Moslem was sentenced to three and a half years in prison, and his son, 39-year-old Saeed, was sentenced to eight years behind bars. Voters in the Eldred Central School District will go to the polls on December 6th to vote on an $11.1 million bond to help pay for upgrades and renovations to George Ross McKenzie Elementary School and Eldred Junior Senior High School. District officials said taxes would not be increased because the borrowing of two existing bonds would be paid off in 2025 before the new loans are sought. Constructions anticipated from 2024 to 2026. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.